from Hyderabad, Telangana. So I have graduated uh, in, in electrical and electronic engineering in 2019 from JBIT Institute. So, um, I've done my main project in EV design, EV design powered by uh, solar panel, which got me interested in the EV domain and uh, EV domain and EV industry. So I was looking uh, some courses to learn more about the uh, EV, EV domain. So I came across with Skillink and where I took a demo about the course and environment which allowed it. I came across Skillink through a Facebook ad uh, related to electric vehicles and cars and everything. So through that, uh, one of the ad was related to Skillink and uh, I thought um, the ad was uh, was interesting because of the everything they mentioned about it. So when I looked into the website, there were so many options related to the courses and everything. So I contacted the Skillink, uh, Skillink staff, one of the staff, and they gave me a demo about the, how the course structure would be, how the um, future in the Skillink would be. I thought it was good, so I took the demo and some courses were related to the aerodynamics and everything, um, which was very, uh, very interesting. And overall, it was a good experience with the Skillink courses. Before Skillink, I don't even know much about the MATLAB, Simulink or most of the EV, EV parts and also electronics related topics. Uh, these were all covered very pretty well. They were quite crucial to my domain, my field. So I learned a lot about them and I really like the simulation concepts and everything which I'm very interested in doing uh, going, going further. Especially as I got a job in Xplio which um, my role is to work in the mostly work in the simulation and MATLAB program. So I'll be more interested in doing that. I faced uh, during my uh, engineering is that most of the basic concepts were half filled or even there were so many doubts related to my basic concept in electrical domain, whether it's induction motor or power electronics. These are uh, some subjects which require more depth and more depth explanation related to them, which I didn't get during my engineering, but I was quite interested in. In the skilling, uh, we, uh, most of the time we were, we were not dependent upon the technical support. The, the concepts were everything were uh, recorded in the course structure, which were easy to access and go through them uh, once or twice and more than any, more, as many as times we can do. So that we, uh, because of that, I could go through a lot. Uh, I could uh, analyze them and take my own time to uh, learn about them. I learned a lot about the the subject of power electronics and induction motors, electrical machines, basically. I have done my own um, project, like a uh, cell project, where uh, we built some uh, 14 feet windmill and uh, STAB windmill and some models of substations and power plants, everything, which made me to realize that uh, I need more practical approach to buy subjects uh, and I really love doing those stuff. And in the fourth project, in my main project, we have done a model of electric car powered by batteries uh, which are uh, wirelessly charged through solar panels. While doing that main project, I have learned the wireless technology a little bit and also about the heavy vehicles capabilities and how the batteries uh, could be the future and how EVs could be future of uh, technology. It got me very interested in it very much and I thought I always look for uh, such kind of projects in between my um, BTEC and uh, skilling. The technical support in skilling was very good. Any doubt, if I had any doubts or questions or if I need to uh, if some of the videos are not uh, explained properly, I could go to them and I could call them or text them and um, about them, and they could they would uh, repeat it, repeat everything every, 
as many times as I could get until I got cleared with those doubts. If possible, they would uh, do some uh, one hour session or half an hour session depending on the scope of the problem and they would try to explain most of the parts as much as possible. They would, uh, they would also suggest me with some uh, YouTube videos or Google articles related to the, the concept that I was working on, whether in the challenges or in the projects or in, in just the videos, uh, course videos. It was, uh, it was quite well, uh, helpful. They were never like um, tired or they were always polite and very um, help, uh, supportive. Yeah, and they encourage uh, even if I did any mistakes or uh, in, in the pro uh, challenges, they would uh, explain me those stuff and rectify them how how I could uh, improve those uh, certain problems, certain simulations, certain pro programs, MATLAB programs. They would explain me those kind of uh, concepts too. Mock interviews and uh, exams were quite helpful. Uh, before them, uh, I was a little nervous and intense about attending the actual interviews, and I was not aware about how much knowledge I possess, about how much capable I was uh, related to my concept I have learned here. So, because of the mock interviews and exams, I got a little uh, confident about my about my knowledge and skills, uh, which actually helped in the while presenting the actual, actual interviews and exams. The scope of challenges, some of the challenges, questions would be like single line answers or uh, sing, uh, very short answers. Even though they were short, uh, it's better to, uh, better to research and uh, learn more about that concept very well because it would be helpful in the future problems and programs or any questions.